clean up this piece of fabric from which we are going to cut our strips. And let's see, will this do it? I think it will. We want these strips to come from a piece that is as long as conveniently possible. Okay. On my cutting mat is a bias 45 degree. We're just going to line that up with the wrong side up. Wrong side up. Let's push that up a little bit so we can see that line a little bit better. Now do you see it? Here's the beginning, here's the end. Let's take our clear ruler line up those by those lines on that 45 degree angle so let's take this little pointed end and fold it along the bias cut that we just made doesn't that look like an arrow right now okay now we're going to shift the fabric so that the ends that we cut are lined up with a vertical line here and we're going to start cutting our strips. The most common strip width is one and three quarter inches. When you cut a one and three quarter inch strip, it's enough to cover the cord and then when you sew it, you have approximately a half inch of lip and this is where you line this up with the cut edges of the top and bottom of your cushion which you will see later. I'm not going to measure from point to point because that is going to be in the seam allowance. So I'm going to measure from about a half inch from this short edge and a half inch from this short edge and we come up with 19 inches so we'll need six of these 19 inch strips let's double check to see if that is correct 19 times 6 equals 114 yes that's going to give us enough we have one right now we just need to cut five more strips that are one and a quarter, three quarter inch wide. This will be number six. Okay. We'll put this to the side for another project on another day. This piece of fabric, the shape of it, is a parallelogram. These are parallel, these are parallel, and you notice that they're oriented to the left when the fabric shows right side up. We want every single one of them to be left orientation. You're going to be joining these strips, good sides together, and you'll be overlapping them this way so that this little V made by these overlaps is one inch, one half of an inch. So here's your seam allowance right here, a one-half inch seam allowance. When we get to the machine, this will be clearer, and you'll see how quickly these will go together.